Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip, and today I'm going to be showing you a simple project you can make on Scratch. What the project is going to be is you have two sprites, you're going to have a, a fruit and a basket or something you can catch fruit in, and you're going to have the basket or whatever on the bottom, moving it with the left and right keys and you have to try to catch the fruit that is falling from the sky. So first let's get the uh, sprites we need for the project. Let's get like a basket. Alright, well there's no basket so... Oh look, I found a bowl. That might be good. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Let's change the size. Let's make it a bit bigger. 150 is good, yeah. We're going to be wanting it to move around on the bottom, so let's set it right there. And let's go get the fruit that's going to fall from the sky. So if I search fruit, fruit, I find all these. Um, let's make the watermelon fr fall from the sky. And let's make it a size 75, let's say. Yeah, that fits in the bowl, right? First, we need to get the bowl to go from left to right with the keys, the left key and the right key. So, as always, we get the when green flag clicked, and also the forever, because we want to do some things forever. In the forever, like I said last time, we get the if statement, and inside the if, we're going to say a new category, well, a new block, which is key something pressed. So, I'm going to go with the right arrow, key right arrow pressed, then we have to go that way, right? So let's, we have to modify the X or the Y, right? If we go that way, that means we have to modify the X because the X is from left to right. So we need to make the X go plus 10 or minus 10. So we have to change the x coordinate so that's where the block uh, change x by and since we're going the right way look over here it the x increases so that means it has to change x by 10 not negative 10 and when we press this you see i press the right arrow and it works now we have to make it go the left way too with the left arrow right so to make it easier, let's just duplicate it and don't duplicate the forever and delete the forever if you duplicate it and only get the if and now you got to change it to the left arrow and it has to go the other way. So negative 10 and let's run it to make sure left arrow, right arrow, left arrow and right arrow. It works perfectly. But just so everything is perfect, let's make it at the beginning of everything to get the bowl to go to the very middle. So we get the go to, and the X is zero, and the Y here, let's say, is negative 140, okay? And we run it, and it starts right there, a bit above the ground. That's like perfect. Now we are done with the bowl, so let's focus on the watermelon. Like always, we get the when green flag clicked, and we get the forever. Since we want the watermelon to always fall from top to bottom in a, any position, then the Y has to change, right? So the question is, does it change minus 10 or plus 10 well before we figure that out get the block that says change y by and put in the forever and let's move the watermelon and as you can see it goes negative so we put negative 10 and it works now i want the watermelon we want the watermelon to start from a random position along the top every time a different position so we do that by getting 
the go to x and y and we place it right there and the y is going to be let's see it's going to be 151 well let's round it up 150 and then the x has to be random because we want it to start from a different position every time so that's when our new block comes in the pick random from blank to blank which is in the operators category and we place it in the x place and we do from negative 240 because that's the this side of the screen and then the other side of the screen is 240 so we run it and as you see it picks randomly every time and it falls down if the watermelon touches the bottom we want it to disappear and go back up right so we get the if statement put it in the forever and so that's when a new operators block comes in it's the less than why don't we use the greater than for this because we need the statement to be if the watermelon is lower than the ground is lower than the ground then we need to do something so we don't get the greater than we get the less than because we need it to be less than the ground so we get over here we get we put in the number negative 150 because this is 150 right here so if it's going to be on the other side then it's going to be negative 150 and here we need the y position so that's a new block it's over at the motion the very bottom of the motion it is this block right here y position we drag it in here and if y position is less than negative 150 then then we go to this because we need to we needed it to get back up there into a random position and do everything again so you duplicate that don't forget to put it back where it was and also put it in the if and when you press the green flag you'll see it works and it falls from different places every time like you coded next thing we want to do is if the watermelon touches the bowl then we need the watermelon to disappear and add a point to our score our score is going to be a variable which we'll get to a bit later but first let's get the if and touching bowl if touching bowl so we get this one this block if touching bowl then we do we get this one again because we needed to get back up again right so we put it there and you can move the bowl around and you'll see that if you touch it then it'll go back up and if it falls on the ground it still will go back up now we need to make that variable I was talking about earlier it is gonna be like a score to see how many watermelons you catch in a game and so let's call it score and you make a variable by clicking the make a variable button and then it appears here and you have these blocks set my variable change my variable show and hide variable you see the score appeared here the variable appeared there and we need to get at the very beginning set score to zero then you need to change the score by one every time it touches the bowl right because if it touches the bowl you caught the watermelon and as you see you can move the bowl around and the score increases with every watermelon you catch if you drop one the score doesn't increase it doesn't decrease but it does just as we wanted it to now to make the game a bit funner we should get the if statement and we want to make if uh, if score equals a number then we have to stop everything and say you won right 
So we get the if statement, and you can drag this over actually, and that's what we will be using right after we get another operators block, which is blank equals blank. So we need to get that and put in the if, and put score, if score equals, I don't know, let's say 25, that should be a pretty good number. If score equals 25, then uh, say that you won. Say you won for two seconds, or I don't know, it's three seconds, maybe you want it longer, five seconds, whatever you want. And don't forget to get the stop all uh, code block. So everything stops after you got 25. And let's see if it works. Let's try to get 25 watermelons. Alright, I'm at 10. Let's see, 15. Ah! Ah! Alright, 20, 22, 23, 24, and 25. It says you won, and everything stopped, right? I can't move anything. Alright, but you saw that glitch, right? It said you, it's not a glitch because you told it to do that, but it would be better if you took this if and actually placed it in the bowl. Because if you place it in the watermelon, as you saw, it said you won in the middle of the air because the watermelon keeps falling. So how to move it is there's two ways to move this into the bowl. You either put it into your backpack and then close up the backpack, go into the bowl, open the backpack take it out and place it. The other way was just to drag it over to the watermelon. I don't know which one's easier, but now it should work. I'm not going to show you because it took so long to get 25. So that's basically the project. Don't forget to name your project like always. Let's watch it. Let's, wa let's name it catch the watermelons okay and save the project and make any adjustments you want you can thanks for watching i'll see you next time for another project that you can make bye